Once upon a time, there lived a writer. He was not a famous writer, nor was he well known in literary circles. He was just an ordinary man with a passion for writing. His name was John. John lived in a small apartment in the heart of a bustling city. It was a modest place, filled with books, papers, and the constant hum of city life outside. John had always dreamed of writing a great novel, one that would captivate readers and leave a lasting impression on the world. He spent countless hours at his desk, scribbling away in his notebook, lost in the world of his imagination. But despite his best efforts, success seemed to elude him. As the years went by, John grew restless. He longed for adventure, for something more than the mundane existence of his daily life. He yearned to escape the confines of the city, to explore new horizons and seek inspiration in the beauty of nature. And so, one day in January, John made a decision. He would embark on a journey, a journey to find himself and his muse. He packed his belongings, including his trusty notebook and favorite pen, and set out on the open road in his old, beaten-up car. The air was crisp and cold as John drove through the countryside, the winter landscape stretching out before him like a blank canvas waiting to be painted. He felt a sense of freedom and exhilaration as he left the city behind, the worries and cares of his old life fading away with each passing mile. Hours turned into days as John traveled deeper into the heart of the countryside. He marveled at the snow-capped mountains and the vast, open fields blanketed in white. He stopped to admire the frozen lakes and the towering pine trees their branches heavy with snow. But despite the breathtaking beauty of his surroundings, John couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at him from within. He felt lost and adrift, like a ship without a compass, unsure of where he was going or what he hoped to find. And then, one fateful night, as John drove down a deserted country road, his car sputtered and coughed before coming to a sudden stop. He cursed under his breath as he realized he had run out of gas. He was stranded in the middle of nowhere, with no one around for miles. John got out of his car and surveyed his surroundings the darkness pressing in around him like a heavy cloak. He shivered in the cold and wondered what to do next. He had no cell phone signal, no GPS to guide him. He was completely alone. Just as despair threatened to overwhelm him, a faint light caught John's eye in the distance. He squinted into the darkness and saw the outline of a small house nestled among the trees. With a renewed sense of hope, John set off towards the light, his footsteps crunching in the snow. As he approached the house, John saw a figure standing in the doorway, a lantern held aloft in their hand. It was a woman her face obscured by the shadows. Hello? John called out, his voice echoing in the stillness of the night. The woman stepped forward, her features coming into view. She was young and beautiful, with long, 
flowing hair the color of midnight. Her eyes sparkled in the lantern light as she smiled at John. Are you lost? She asked, her voice soft and melodic. John nodded, relieved to have found someone at last. Yes, he admitted. My car broke down, and I'm out of gas. I was hoping you could help me. The woman's smile widened. Of course, she said. Come inside, and we'll see what we can do. John followed the woman into the warmth of the house, his spirits lifting at the thought of shelter and company. The interior was cozy and inviting with a fire crackling merrily in the hearth and the scent of home-cooked food filling the air. As John warmed himself by the fire, the woman bustled about the kitchen, preparing a hearty meal of stew and bread. She chatted amiably as she worked, asking John about himself and his travels. John found himself opening up to her, sharing stories of his life in the city and his dreams of becoming a successful writer. The woman listened intently, her eyes alight with interest. After dinner, John thanked the woman for her hospitality and prepared to leave. But she insisted that he stay the night assuring him that it was too dangerous to venture out alone in the dark. Reluctantly, John agreed, grateful for the chance to rest and recharge before continuing his journey. He settled into a comfortable armchair by the fire and watched as the woman tidied up the kitchen, her movements graceful and effortless. As the hours passed, John felt himself growing drowsy. The warmth of the fire and the soft glow of the lantern lulled him into a state of relaxation, and before he knew it, he had drifted off to sleep. When he awoke the next morning, John found himself alone in the house. The fire had burned down to embers and the room was silent except for the soft patter of snow against the window panes. Confused, John got up and looked around, but there was no sign of the woman anywhere. He called out her name, but his voice echoed hollowly in the empty room. Feeling a sense of unease, John quickly gathered his things and made his way outside. To his surprise, he found that his car had been repaired overnight, the tank filled with gas and the engine purring like new. Grateful but bewildered, John climbed behind the wheel and set off down the road, his mind racing with questions. Who was the mysterious woman? Where had she gone? And how had she known how to fix his car? As he drove, John couldn't shake the feeling that he had stumbled upon something extraordinary, something beyond his comprehension. He felt a sense of wonder and excitement bubbling up inside him a newfound energy propelling him forward into the unknown. And so, John continued on his journey, his heart filled with hope and anticipation. He didn't know where the road would lead him, but one thing was certain, he was ready to embrace whatever adventures lay ahead. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months as John traveled from one town to the next, his notebook filled with stories and observations from his travels. 
He met many interesting people along the way, each with their own unique tales to tell. But no matter where he went or who he met, John couldn't shake the memory of the mysterious woman in the woods. He often found himself thinking of her, wondering what had become of her and whether he would ever see her again. And then, one day, as John was passing through a small village on the outskirts of town, he saw her. She was standing on the street corner, her long hair blowing in the breeze, her eyes sparkling with recognition. Hello, John, she said, her voice as sweet as he remembered. John's heart skipped a beat as he approached her, his mind racing with a million questions. But before he could speak, the woman held up a hand, her expression solemn. I have something to tell you, she said, her voice low and urgent. Something important. John listened intently as the woman spoke, her words like poetry on the wind. She told him, 